My name is Michael. Watch me travel across every state in America. I'll visit some famous places, I'll visit some weird places, but more importantly, I'll try to interview the most inspiring and unique creatives I can find. Along the way, I'll talk gear and what I use to make it all happen. So watch four seconds of me in front of walls and enjoy the rest of this review. Before I went on this road trip, I uh, knew I was gonna bring this Amazon uh, mini tripod. It goes up to a height of 52 inches. I liked it because it's carbon fiber and it's around two pounds, I wanna say. So it's a very lightweight tripod. Uh, comes with a ball head and I knew that I wanted this tripod as sort of a backup because the thing with this guy is part of it being this compact and light is it's uh, kind of flimsy. Um, there are certain things that I notice about it when it's extended uh, to its full capacity. The, uh, the legs aren't that great. One of these legs actually, when you try and, which one is it? Yeah, this guy right here, when you try and tighten it, I don't know what happened, but the entire leg rotates. So it's kind of irritating and tough to get a good, good tight seal. You got to hold that leg and then do that. So, and then I also brought the Manfrotto B Free Live. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people build it as a great travel tripod and it's the reason why I bought it. I bought it actually right before the trip. Uh, this was going to be my go-to tripod and uh, it has been. Um, a lot of things sort of irritated me with this tripod. Let's go over them. So lever locks versus twist locks are a personal taste. You know, for a travel tripod, I always, I, this stuff gets caught uh, in my backpack, my little strap on the side. So one of them got loose. So uh, on a shoot, it was tilting. I had to tighten it up, no big deal, but that was something of note that happened in the field. Uh, Here's one major annoyance. I don't like this design. You know, in order to fold and lock into, into the two other positions that it has available, the, the wider stance, uh, default, stow away. Uh, uh, it's, it's too easy to move and oftentimes, uh, you know, just as I'm moving about or re, uh, reframing, uh, one of these legs will uh, shift positions and uh, Really, it's just me and my brain, which is super forgetful, but I always forget which is which way is which. So I'm always, you know, thinking, oh, wait, is it this way or that way? And then we come to the fluid head, which is the reason I kind of, uh, this stood out to me and the reason why I wanted to get in the first place was it came with a fluid head in a compact form. It's great on paper, but in actual use, here's what happens. First, when I'm composing with like uh, the Sony A7R2 and the 24 to 240, or even the 16 to 35, uh, when I position the camera and go to lock it, um, it'll move slightly. So I have to kind of think of that and frame knowing that. So knowing that it'll dip or knowing that it'll be slightly askew. So it always takes a little bit extra time. And these knobs, they're just so cheap feeling. And the movement isn't exactly smooth since there's no tension control. Even though it's rated at 8.8 .8 pounds, uh, I think that it's really built for pocket cameras and compact system cameras. I think the uh, A7R2 and uh, you know 7200 is just way too much uh, for this. Uh, video head to handle. And, I mean, I have to do multiple, multiple takes in order to get something uh, decent. What I do like about the B-Free is there is uh, a leveling base on there. Uh, I don't know if it's like 15 degrees, but it's usually good enough for me to level things out fairly quickly. I'm doing a lot of backpacking, uh, walking on trails, walking around cities and, and urban exploration sort of things. Four pounds I found uh, is still too heavy for me. Maybe I'm just a big baby, but uh, the two pounds of the Amazon is something where I would just basically always carry it with me. The two pound difference is enough though that uh, this tripod, I'm, uh, 
I'm only going to bring it out if I know I'm going to do an interview. Uh, if I'm just exploring, then there's no way I don't really want to take this uh, with me. So, flip locks. Flip locks can be convenient. Um, they are faster theoretically than twist locks, but um, yeah, I just I, this doesn't feel secure. And sometimes when I'm in the middle of you know adjusting a leg, this can get loose very easily, and then you know all of a sudden it's like that. I really can't recommend the Manfrotto Be Free Live.